Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed what is an algorithm, what are the characteristics of an algorithm, how to write an algorithm and how to analyze an algorithm. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know what is an algorithm, how to write an algorithm, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss how to write an algorithm to find the roots for a quadratic equation. What is the problem here? Identifying the roots for the quadratic equation. For that problem, you want to write an algorithm. First, you need to find the solution. Once you know the solution, then you can easily write it as an algorithm. What is the problem? Find the roots of a quadratic equation. Let's take that I have a quadratic equation called ax square plus bx plus c. For this quadratic equation, I want to identify the roots. Now what I will do, first I will compute the discriminate which is b square minus 4ac. I will call it as d. d is equal to b square minus 4ac. If d is greater than 0, then I will have two real roots which are minus b plus square root of d by 2a this is my root 1 and my another real root is minus b minus square root of d by 2a so first what i will do is that i will compute the d value which is b square minus 4ac which we will call it as discriminant once the d value if i got which is greater than 0 then i will have two real roots the real root root 1 is minus b plus square root of d by 2a and another one is minus b minus square root of d by 2a. If it is equal to 0, if d is equal to 0, then I will have one root which is minus b by 2a. The two roots will be equal and they will be minus b by 2a. If it is less than 0, if the discriminant is less than 0, then I will have the roots which are imaginary roots. How I will compute is, first I will compute the real part which is minus b by 2a and I will compute the imaginary part square root of minus d by 2a. Then I will write it as root 1, r1 is equal to rp plus j into ip and another root is minus j ip. So these are the two roots you will have if it is less than 0. If it is equal to 0, the two roots will be equal to minus b by 2a. If it is greater than 0, then you will have these two roots. So this is the way you will find the roots for the quadratic equation. Once you know the solution or procedure to identify the roots, then it is very easy to write it as an algorithm. So let me write it as an algorithm. So any algorithm will start. The step one is the start. And what is the step two? You need to declare the variables which we will use it in the algorithm. So declare the variables. Declare the variables a comma b comma c are the inputs because ax square plus bx plus c. So a value, b value, c value you need to consider and then you will have the variables called r1 comma r2 are the roots and you will have the real part and imaginary part. So these are the variables I will use it in the algorithm. And then what I need to take, I need to read the values, read the values for, for a comma b comma c. Am I right? Even I will use a variable called d, so I will write it here. So read the variable values for the variables a comma b comma c. Then what you will do, you will compute the compute the discriminant or you can write it as the compute the d value 
as b square minus 4ac am i right or wrong so you are reading the values for a comma b comma c and then you are computing the d value as b square minus 4ac that is the value you need to compute then what is the step 5 i need to write if d is greater than or equal to 0 so i am considering these two cases if d is greater than or equal to 0 then i will have step 5.1 what is that step 5.1 consists of compute r1 as okay minus b plus square root of d by 2a step 5.2 will consist of compute r2 as minus b minus square root of d a by 2a once you computed r1 and r2 if it is equal to 0 if d is equal to 0 then r1 and r2 will be minus b by 2a only so once you computed the r1 and r2 value you need to display them step 5.3 is display the display the values of r1 and r2 is it clear are you able to understand so we have started the algorithm we have declared the variables what are the variables we will use it in the algorithm and then first we are reading the input a comma b comma c comma value then we need to compute the discriminant which has b square minus 4ac then i need to check whether the d value is greater than or equal to 0 if it is greater than or equal to 0 then i need to execute certain steps if it is less than 0 i need to perform something so if it is greater than or equal to 0 what are the steps i need to execute i have written if it is else means if this condition is failed meaning is that if d is less than 0 then what are the steps you need to do okay let me use this space to write the remaining algorithm okay else what i will do i will call the step 5.4 as okay if it is less than 0 then what i will do compute the real part compute the real part rp as minus b by 2a imaginary part compute step 5.5 5. compute the imaginary part as square root of minus d by 2a then you will display let me write here step 5.6 okay display the roots as okay rp real part plus j into ip and rp minus j of ip these are the two roots will be there if d value is less than zero once you display these things then you can stop the algorithm so you need to check the characteristics if it is satisfying or not so this is the algorithm i have written you can do it in your own way. I have written this process. Now, we need to check the characteristics. What are the five characteristics the algorithm should satisfy? One is the input, output, definiteness, finiteness, and effectiveness. Am I right or wrong? now we will check whether this algorithm is satisfying these five characteristics or not what is the input input should be either zero or more input should be there how many inputs i am taking here three inputs i am taking so it is okay 
and what is the output it is giving it is giving either these two as an output or these two as an output so it will give the minimum two outputs am i right and what is the definiteness each instruction should be clear see if you see here start is clear declare is clear read the values clear every instruction is clear so it is satisfying the definiteness and it is finiteness because only we have completed this algorithm with six steps so finite number of steps are there effectiveness means each instruction is required to complete this task so it is satisfying all the set characteristics of an algorithm so i hope you have understood how to write an algorithm to find the roots of a quadratic equation if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day